it's Jen here at the Soul Garden and I have an ear of corn from last year's harvest and we're gonna prep this to provide seeds for this year's crop so I'm just gonna take this head of corn and I'm gonna split it in half so splitting that in half taking off the seeds There you go. Cool. Let's start planting. So we've placed the corn kernels, which are now seeds, into an airtight jar so that if you want to store them for safekeeping and you don't want to plant them all right away, they're going to be safe here and safe from weathering. Here we have where I've already planted some of the corn seeds. And you can see there's different stages. Some are just starting to sprout. And then there's one over here. And he was an earlier bloomer. So I'm just basically gonna show you, you take one of the corn kernels and you basically wanna plant it about in inch to two inches deep. So I go for about one and a half inches. So I make a little divot with my finger into the soil. I stick it in there and then I pack the soil nice and tight. I'm not actually going to do that because I already have one growing in there. But you plant all of your corn. I mean you could plant them right into the ground but I like to plant them here so that I can take care of them and I can watch them sprout up. So these sprouts will be ready to transplant into the earth as soon as they get a little taller than this tallest sprout here. And looking at this crop, I'm going to start to thin them out now. So the sprouts that have yet to come up, those are the ones we're going to want to discard. Okay, and then over here we have some corn that we've already planted. Corn likes soil temperatures that are 50 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, and they will need at least six to eight hours of sunlight a day and lots of watering. You'll also want to add a lot of good fertilizer into your soil, especially a lot of nitrogen. So planting legumes into the soil prior to this crop would be a great idea. It's suggested to plant corn a foot apart in rows two to three feet apart. But since we have a small backyard space, we've decided to plant them closer, about a foot or so apart in pairs to help with cross-pollination. So you'll have to join us next time for another video in how to promote cross-pollination in your garden, since we're not quite at that stage just yet. But for now, we've decided to add some photos from last year's garden so we could give you some quick tips. Your corn will develop and flower. It will form male flowers on top that look like wheat, shown here. And then your corn will form the female part, which looks like cream or purple hairs. Unfortunately, this isn't the best image to show that since we had already passed that stage when we took these photos. So you can help the pollination process along by pulling off some of the male pollen and placing it on to the female hairs. You'll want to get as much pollen on the hairs as possible since each hair is attached to a kernel. And that's what gives life to each kernel and has them plump up. So you'll want to get as much pollen onto those hairs as possible. And then they'll turn brown like you'll see in the tip of that ear of corn there. So check back in about six weeks or so where we'll show you 
how we help cross-pollinate our corn. We're saying no to GMO corn. We've started a backyard revolution at Soul Garden Space. Join us by starting your own garden 